I'm sure you've been asked many Greetings, times, but friend. could you answer one more time? All right. Last time, guys. Last time. I feel Blaze is very strong. What do you think? Competitive? I feel he's a little weak, but as people play him more, he seems to get better and better. So he could be viable, but I don't think he will be picked in competitive unless the team is looking to impress with him. I don't think they're making use of the luxury of power balance that he brings to a draft. I think they'll only do it if they're ahead, confident, or want to test and practice at least for another month. That's what I think. But we'll see. He's better than Chen, yes. He's better than Chen and... Rexar. Better than Chen and Rexar. But he's probably not better than Cho, Tyrael, Varian, Stitches, Anubarak, ETC, Arthas, Johanna, Garrosh. He might be equal with D.Va. And he's probably better than Artanis. Yeah, he should be better than Artanis. Container 1v1 Sonya with Water Elemental. No, the Water Elemental would slow Jaina, and then Sonya would have an even easier time hitting the uh, Poison Spear. But in which quick match game did you experience that, Dr. Nieper? Let's save some lives. Here we go again. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, Jaina could win that, definitely. If you use the water Ellie to block the spear, and after that, Sonya is slowed, and Jaina can just kite all day. It was in Hero League, someone did it. Yeah, I think you can beat Sonya with Water, Ellie, Jaina. Because Sonya is a movement speed dependent hero that can only gap close with Spear or Leap. So it depends. Does Sonya have Leap? If Sonya has Leap, she can instantly delete Jaina before the movement speed comes into play. If Sonya has Wrath and hits a Spear with Poison and Wrath on Jaina, again, Jaina will die. If Jaina blocks the Spear with Water, Ellie, then uh, she can win. If Jaina doesn't get speared, she can win. I'll take a solid top laner. Um, we will continue this conversation later. This is Something a decent format, I guess. I can do that. Hi, Grubby. I haven't seen Tyrand played in a while, but if she's too weak. How about a hero that makes great use of blind? Okay, Sayek, thank you very much for the request. Taronda or blind? Taronda or blind? Um, their solo laner is Alarak. Who counters Alarak? Sonya should be okay. Artanas, not great into the rest, I guess. I think Sonya is better. My blades are yours. Hey, uh, Yuva, thanks for the sub, man. And uh, G Tag Saint in Sherlock. <sighs> Throw because of skin? What? Oh yeah! There's two skin there's two hero names ending in Iraq. Greetings, friend. Feels good, Yuva. Greetings, friend. Dog of the Sea. Thanks for the Rex X game yesterday. How's today going so far? Uh, not bad. Not bad. Pretty neutral. Fun. 
thanks for the request again. And uh, I saw you commented in the Reddit post. Was that you? Or did someone pretend to be you? Do you have an impersonator? Dog of the Sea? Because you didn't use Dog of the Sea as a nickname. Heroes, prepare for combat. Make way. Bah, you again. You, you, you. End your prattle. We have a fight to win. Um, Block is really good in solo lane. Adarak does have relevant auto attacks. Could do war paint as well. Might be a little Battle bit more solid in. overall. But Block has such value in solo Green lane, so I think spread. I should probably do it. Five, Additionally, four, Chromie, Bronze, three, Talents, and Bala have pretty significant one. auto attacks as well. So even in teamfight, it'll be decent. I do prefer Warpaint, and it's better for wave clear. I mean, uh, it's better for um, mercenary camps, because Block doesn't have an interaction there. But I'll just do it this way. Time to... Time to what? This way. I get blocked for the solo lane and for the team fight rather than the PvE. I'm gonna be whirlwinding a lot anyway. Of course. Your death has come. Oh dear. The beacons are Shots fired. You have to control them. This way. This way. So nice to ha have players that are learning a new hero together. This is what HOTS is all about. Agreed. Friendship is magic. Beetle build, bro? No, he just used a lot of abilities. Choose a talent. The best grubby. Your death has come. No, we lost our choga. Hurry. Yo, thank you, man.
Why didn't they finish me? Not much I could do there. Agreed. If they kill Cho'Gal and have the space to roam bot. Mm. Not bad, they got two kills, even though the Oppo won the thing. You heal so dirty much, like both Malthio and Sonya are so broken on this map because you just heal so dirty much from th these waves. You cannot die. Uh, what's the chromie counter? 29, not too bad. Uh, there's a pretty good chance Alarak comes here and kills me. Ready to die. Huh, when you accept your fate, death doesn't seem as scary. We should capture this mercenary cap. Let's get on with it. None may stand against you. Alarak doing hell that feels PvE man. Fountain. Really liked your patch review on YouTube. Nice. Keep it up. GLHF less than three. Thanks, Rocky. Glad you liked it. Hope I can make some sense of those changes. Or at least have an excited reading of the words. A power spike from the beacons? They'll be active soon. We need level 10. We're gonna try. Oh, Alarak went bot. That's dirty. Choose a talent. Hurry! There! The beacons! Capture them! You like uh, ganging up on my team? Their end has come. Now where'd that spirit healer go? <laughs> yeah, leap because they have two types of silence, and silence is not reduced by wrath of the berserker. It only uh, reduces stun, slow, and root. Such a bad trade. I, I go one for one with Morales is whatever. I had a chance to capture the beacon. Didn't manage because we lost someone. And lose Cho'Gal for... For that. Like, for no reason. One, two for zero. Forward. So much beacon progress lost. Hello. Get him, get him. I throw on your lives. Woe to the Woe to the conquer. Oh yes. Kill them all. What do you say? I will enemy slay. They're gonna get the Zerg wave, but we got some kills. Triple kill. That's fine. Forward. Weaken. 
Um, I'm valuable down there, but we also need the XP. That was a nice twisting nether. We should definitely be greedy and not like everyone go bot. I still have two zerklings, so... I just want to be sure. No way! No freaking way! No! Yes. Alright. My reaction just now is an illustration of how tilt happens. I was thinking about it and tilt is when something happens that you find unacceptable for whatever reason. There's something about what just happened that you find unacceptable. So all you gotta do is to avoid tilt is to accept everything no matter how ridiculous it is. So Cho'Gal dying versus uh, three people when Chromie is top. Acceptable. You, you get three kills and you desert, defend Zergway for free. But you lose two players is acceptable. So now we can't get tilted. And as much as I'm kind of playing with the sarcasm there, it is actually true. That's when you get tilted. Something happened that you cannot accept for whatever reason. You like fair play, it wasn't fair. You like fair play and it wasn't fair. Two alts used back. Um, you like good play and it wasn't good. You don't like making mistakes and you made a mistake. You prefer to play with four human allies and someone on your team disconnected. Unacceptable things. And then you tilt. So really, part of mental preparation is to make sure that you know that these things can and will happen. And to think about your response to them when they happen. Now, I was a little caught off guard by the Choga pick. I must say I did not prepare for that when I woke up this morning. Your death has come. But uh, it'll be fun if we win. So that makes it more palatable. I must retreat, but I'll be back. Palatable, not palatable, sorry. Of course. I need help. And now suddenly we are ahead. Double kill. So what was so unacceptable, right? I have another quote. Can't have beautiful games without beautifully ugly mistakes. It was different, the quote, but it works. I... Double kill. Choose a talent. Triple Can I get nurse steel? So we just made a comeback on Hex's brawl dart. I thought that wasn't possible. My wounds close. None may stand against me. Keep destroyed. Well deserved. MVP. 
if you hold out for a comeback, then it's no longer Brax's blowout. Hanzo. Hanzo has nice damage. Full scat arrow. With Pierce. Didn't get the armor debuff. Uh, Trogal, let's see. He went for Taskmaster, Shove, and CDR. Bombs away. Rune Bomb. More damage. Infinitely more damage for Runic Blast. Edge of Madness. Subsequent Runes. same hit. It's da bonus damage. Yeah, Twilight no, Nova. Two so orbs. You shrink Ray on Chogol. He's still bigger than your mom. It's two people. It's not fair. Uh, deafening blast. Runic blast. Silences enemy heroes for 125. Consuming fire. Heals more when you ignite a hero. Hmm. Does that work with Blaze as well? Keep up. Roll back. Rolls back. Power Surge CDR when you fist someone, Runic Feedback, more Blast, which is nice synergy with Bonds Away. And finally, Surging Dash, dash while channeling, heal per second and be unstoppable. Okay. Okie dokie. Noisu. And we go on. <laughs>